Sorry about that. I'm trying to take calls and do this battle at the same time. Alright, this is an easier part of the battle. It doesn't require you to... It doesn't require you to do any uh, stupid combo hits. Oh, shit. Or not. What? I I pressed the wrong button. Pressed the wrong button, of course. Get back here. Okay. Okay, why is that? Call them Lexi. Pressed block. Oh my god, this game. This game. This game. This is the hardest battle ever. Oh my god. Oh, this is this is ridiculous. Do I have to fight him? Oh, okay. Give me a checkpoint. Alright. Give me a checkpoint after he got his fist out. At least they gave me a checkpoint. Asshole. I'm kicking his ass. Oh, he's almost dead. Asshole. You ready for this punk? I'm gonna enjoy what 
watch you die. Ha ha ha. You're fucked, Alex Mercer. Sever arm. Sever arm. Piece by piece. That's how we'll do it. Why, 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 why? Sever arm. Oh, he's getting fucked. He's dead. Duh, no, no. You're fucked. Come on, consume him. Consume him. Mash, 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 mash. Monster mash, monster mash. <sighs> chip, 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 chip. This is no one's fault but your own. You do understand that. I can remember that I had a brother once, a boy named Alex. A boy that used to play games with me and go skating with me and watch scary movies with me. Uh -huh. I understand that that Alex is dead now. I am no longer bound by life or death, Dana. I can move beyond. Huh? Ella has as well. He just doesn't realize it yet. Wow. That's insane. Consumed him. Wow. And thus, Alex Mercer ate a giant penis. A giant black penis, that is. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? The internet, how it was formed. Looks more like hell to me. Oh, all the lights just went out. All right. Where's the backup generator? We need it. God, my throat hurts. James. <laughs> I was yelling at the game so much. God. Maya. Maya. <coughs> Are you all right? Huh, she doesn't like him because he's infected. Huh. He can't take her. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Daddy, I didn't go to my fifth birthday party. Well, no shit, I was infected. What'd you think? But I had a party with friends. I was infected. What do we do now? Wait until Prototype 3 comes out. Huh. Yep. Wait until Prototype 3 comes out. I was exactly right. Uh, and that'll probably take three fucking years to make, so what, in the year 2015, we're gonna get Prototype 3, if they keep up with this, with this system? So what happens now, like, are you gonna be James Heller in the third game, or are you gonna be some new prototype that wants to kill James Heller, just like James Heller wanted to kill Alex Mercer, who you played as in the first game? Is it gonna be an endless chain of killing your maker, or what? Well, this is obviously the end of my Prototype 2 playthrough. I hope you enjoyed it. It was very fun doing all the optional side quests and getting all the boxes and doing the lairs. And This game had a lot of cool content, very similar to the first game, how you can go around and kind of do your own thing. You have the free-roaming aspect, kind of like Grand Theft Auto, where you can jump around and fly around and do your own thing to power up your character so that he's more powerful for the final fight. Uh, this boss fight, you know, I was yelling it at the end just because I wanted to beat the game and I was getting pissed that I couldn't beat it. But this game actually did have a easier boss fight because they would give you checkpoints instead of just fucking you over when you died instantly. So I think they it did improve that. And they did improve some of the powers. You get you obviously have some new powers. 
like those uh, like those freaking things that come out and grab everything. I don't know what they're called, but and then you can call the pack leaders. That was pretty cool. Where you could call upon the infected to help you fight. Um, that was pretty cool. So I don't know. Um, Prototype Two was an okay game. Sometimes the story would just kind of dragged on. Like you would just be calling random people and doing random things, consuming random con commanders, random scientists, and it kind of got bland. But I'd say you know the final part of the game was pretty cool when the when the Mercer sister helps you out. So I think the game was a pretty good success in that aspect. It had an okay story. This game is actually just as long as Prototype One. I actually I actually uh, took note of how long it was in terms of hours so this game is actually as long as prototype one so you're getting the same amount of content probably with the optional content this would last you a little bit longer but this game isn't really going to last you that long i mean in my playthrough alone i think i've just about you know got all of the upgrades and power-ups i think i've just about achieved everything in this game you know the boxes, the lairs, the ops missions where you got to kill a whole bunch of people. You know, I've basically done everything. I did all of the optional side quests, and I got the achievement for that. But um, definitely, if you want to upgrade Heller to the fullest potential, you'll definitely need to do those. Obviously, you know, the final fight with Alex Mercer can be a little bit easier if you upgrade your powers and consume, and you know, if you consume the individuals so that you can upgrade all your powers so they're more powerful, I would definitely suggest doing that. So overall, I think Prototype 2 is an awesome game. If I were to rate it on a 10 scale, I would have to give it an 8.5. And uh, as studio head of Radical at the time, I would like to thank that my wife and all the spouses, significant other than blah, blah, blah. All right, so that was just a message from the head of Radical Entertainment. So yeah, I would probably have to give Prototype 2 an 8.5. It was an okay game. It had a it had an okay story. Once you got towards the end, it started to pick up a little bit. In some points, it didn't make sense. And also, in some points, they didn't take it directly from the first game. Like, why is Alex Mercer all of a sudden an evil person? At the end of Prototype 1, he stopped the nuke, he stopped all these people, and he had a vision of doing what was right. And then all of a sudden, in this game, he's, he's turning evil, and he's trying to do all this crazy shit. So that's kind of fucked up, and maybe it's just because the virus consumed his soul. I don't know if that's maybe why that happened, but I'm not sure. But Prototype 2 was fun, and um, giving it an 8.5, I'd say, you know, it's, it's fun. I mean, it's really satisfying to, you know, blow through enemies, consume them, wipe them out with helicopters, tanks, all these crazy powers. I definitely think that that aspect of the game is worth it. The game isn't incredibly long, like I said, but you're definitely getting a good amount of content. For $60, I'd say I have to give it an 8.5. So that's my rating for Prototype 2. Uh, that's the end of Prototype 2. I know I bought that stupid downloadable content that comes out in May and June, but I'm probably not going to have this game by then. I'll probably trade it in to buy some of the other games, like Max Payne 3. So, uh, yeah, so Prototype 2 was fun while I had it. Definitely a fun game. Sometimes the story didn't make sense, but also I want to open up a plot point. If you guys recall, if for anyone who played Prototype 1, at the end of Prototype 1, you kill the final boss battle. You, you kill the boss. And he's basically the Supreme Hunter. That's his name, the Supreme Hunter. And he's, he ends up being this guy named Pariah, who is the second-in-command in military leader in the game. And you end up killing him, and you end up consuming him. And once you do that, basically... Well, actually, you don't consume him. You just cut him up and kill him. And then you stop the nuke from blowing up. But, but at the end of the game, pieces of his form actually infect a crow. And, like, like you know, like a crow like a bird. So he infects the bird, and the bird turns into the new Supreme Hunter. So the Supreme Hunter regenerates itself by consuming the bird at the end of Prototype 1, and you don't know what happens. So I was hoping that they would continue to tell you what happens in the second game, but apparently... As far as I saw in the game, he doesn't return. It's it, the, you know the the entire game focuses on Alex Mercer fucking up the city and your quest to, to kill Alex Mercer. So now that you've killed Alex Mercer, now you have to decide what to do. And apparently, I don't know. That's another thing, another plot point they didn't really explain. Why the fuck did his tendrils extend to all parts of the city at the end of the game? Did you see that? Like they they extended to all parts of the city. They turned off all the power. They killed all those people. And I don't really understand what that did, so maybe if you guys have an explanation for that, I would be appreciative. But um, yeah, that's Prototype 2, 8.5, really fun game. This is probably one of the most, my most, the playthrough I think I had the most fun with 
other than Jack and Daxter this year, just because it was so entertaining. So my top three playthroughs for this year are Jack and Daxter HD Collection, Mass Effect 3, that game blew me away, I didn't play the first two and that game was actually really fun, and now Prototype 2, Prototype 2 is a really fun game, so 8.5, hope you guys go out and buy it, and uh, it was awesome, awesome game, and now I'm just waiting for the credits to finish in case there's any extra content, I know it says press A to continue, but I don't want to do that, I want to see if there's any extra content, so... Maybe while we're waiting for the camera to uh, finish with the credits, I will check my videos and see how well they're uploading and see what the comments are and all that great stuff, so. Alright, my voice is killing me. I was screaming so much at the freaking game because I, I kept dying against Alex Mercer. I was flipping out. Basically, if you, if you want some tips for, for that game, basically... You just have to time his moves, alright? You can't jump around and do it. Now, the other boss fights, like when you would fight the mini-bosses and the evolved people, all you could really do, you could you really use any power you wanted. You could run around the screen and do all that kind of stuff. But for Alex Mercer, you couldn't. You'd have to press A at the right time to avoid his, his strikes. Or press the right, the, uh, the block shield thing to block his attacks. Then you'd go in for the strike. So basically, that's the only way you could really do it. So learning how to counter his move, and you have to basically master his attack patterns. Very different from Prototype 1. The boss battle in Prototype 1, you could kill him in any way you wanted. He had this one attack that would kill you instantly if it hits you. But basically, it was basically a matter of using your own powers. You could use the blade or the whip fist. Or you, actually, you ended up actually throwing stuff at him. That was the way you killed him in the first game. If you did it on the hardest difficulty, the only way you could kill him was by throwing shit at him with the uh, muscle power. Which is not in this game. The muscle power gave you extra strength, so when you throw stuff, it would do more damage. That's something I'm surprised about. Throwing stuff was not a focus in this game. When, like, you know, in the first game, it was a focus. You know, if you pick up something really heavy, you would throw it and it would blow stuff up. In this game, they don't really focus on that. There was actually a, a power in the first game that would give you more throw ability it was called muscle mass and that power would allow you to throw objects with a greater force and there was also like an armor ability there was also a power where you could have an armor like that would give you a protective shielding so there were a couple of powers in this game that weren't included in this in uh, this one so that's that that's okay though they always change the games you know every once in a while all right let's check the uploads 75 percent so three of Uploading three videos. Hey, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> All right, this camera's going really long. Expect this video to be 25 minutes if you're still sticking in there. It's going to be a long one, folks. And this is really just to let the credits roll. I don't know why the fuck the credits are so fucking long, but it's killing me right now. It really is. <laughs> Freaking Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin is such a dick. Dude, it's, uh, so many credits. There are so many credits. Why, 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 why? Two turtle does three French hens, two turtlenecks, and a partridge in a pear tree. And a partridge. Why am I singing Christmas songs? <sighs> Completely out of touch. I'm just rambling shit. Alright, what, what, what song do you guys want to hear? I'll sing a random song for you. How about that? While we're, while we're waiting for the credits to roll, I'll, I'll sing a random song. Let's see, what kind of song could I sing? 25 bottles of beer on the wall, 25 bottles of beer, take one down, pass it around, 25 bottles of beer on the wall. Alright, that's boring, that's stupid. Alright, uh, let me think of another song. Relax, don't do it. Oh, that, actually, that's, that song kind of goes with the beat of this music. Relax, don't do it. Everybody will do it. Relax, don't do it. Do 
Alright, I've run out of songs to sing. Oh my god, these credits are so fucking long. I think I could take a shit faster than these credits could roll. Seriously, I'm not even joking. songs to sing. This is ridiculous. Oh, finally! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Credits are done. Alright, come on, special ending. Murder your maker, 100 gamer points. Are you shitting me? There's no special ending. There's no special ending, you fucks! <gasps> you fucking assholes! Alright, whatever, I'm not that angry, but whatever. It was kind of a waste of time. Congratulations, you've completed the story. You can start a new game plus on the new insane difficulty level, or continue exploring the open world and try to get the newly unlocked platinum medals for Radnet events. And I evolved to level 18, but I guess it really doesn't fucking matter since I beat the game. Alright. Well, what the fuck does it matter? That would have been a nice perk to have when I was doing the fucking game. Ah, oh, well. Well, I guess that's it, guys. I still look like the fucking... Oh, my God. Why can't I go into the zone over here? They never explained to me why it's called the dead zone. They won't let me go over there. Maybe there's a nuke over there? I have no fucking clue. Alright, that's it for Prototype 2. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.